Yes, I'm Kenny Choi. And I'm Michelle Griego. Happening right now in Sacramento, the ceremony to swear in California's new governor, Gavin Newsom. Newsom took the oath just moments ago. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith. That I will bear true faith. And allegiance. And allegiance. To the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of California. And the Constitution of the State. And of course, Newsom's wife and his kids uh, joining him on stage there. So we want to get you live to Sacramento right now, where Governor Newsom is giving his inaugural address. Let's listen in. Everyone else, and it's not just inequality of wealth; it's inequality of opportunity. And we have a homeless epidemic that should keep each and every one of us up at night. An achievement gap, an achievement gap in our schools, and a readiness gap that holds back millions of our kids. And too many children, too many children know the ache of chronic hunger. I have met families in this state who have to improvise where to tuck their babies in at night, making nests out of blankets on the floor or turning dresser drawers into makeshift cradles because they cannot afford a crib. These aren't merely policy problems, they are moral imperatives. And so long as they persist, each and every one of us is diminished. You know, we're all touched by the human condition. Whether we ourselves are homeless or jobless, whether we ourselves can pay the bills or have safe drinking water at home, we all have our own frailties. We all have our own vulnerabilities, and we're all susceptible to suffering and disaster. So let us resolve to, to follow the example of the rescuers and the rebuilders in Paradise and Malibu and Santa Rosa and Ventura and to make sure our fellow Californians share in the compassion and empathy that connects us and makes our burdens and anxieties easier to bear. Our politics, politics doesn't always reward taking on the hardest problems. The results of our and of course, we're listening into the new well governor, well. Gavin Newsom's inaugural address. He has touched on education and, of course, homelessness, which he says is his top priority here in California. Now, Newsom's oath was momentarily disrupted when a protester was taken out. You can see him there being escorted out by security. The crowd followed with chants in support of Newsom. The first family was also involved in the ceremony. Newsom's son and daughter also took the stage to lead the Pledge of Allegiance. His wife also recited a poem in both English and Spanish. And the grand entrance, let's see this video. You can see there Gavin Newsom and his wife Jennifer along with their children. That was just about 30 minutes ago. Nancy Pelosi also made an appearance at the inauguration. The Congresswoman was just sworn in as Speaker of the House and it is her second time taking on that title. And of course, California's longest serving governor will retire to private life today. Jerry Brown is leaving the governor's mansion in Sacramento for an estate in Calusa County. It is a county that Brown did not win in any of his four campaigns for governor.